It was as if they were stepping into 1940, the heart of Hollywood's golden age. The stucco bungalow where Orson Welles puffed on his pipe between Citizen Kane scenes shimmered in the sun. White roses bloomed along a path leading to the cottage where Clark Gable and Vivian Lee changed into their Gone with the Wind costumes. You half expected Cecil B. DeMille to come bounding out of the nearby studio administration building, a mansion modeled after Mount Vernon, to ball out an underling. Yet a gathering here last week was not about Hollywood's past as much as its future. The official purpose was to commemorate the $12 million restoration of four studio buildings. But the visitors may as well have come to cast the ribbon on a new era in the entertainment industry, one marked by the ascent of streaming giants like Amazon Studios, the compound's new tenant. This historic place has become newly relevant, a beaming Jeffrey Cooper, Culver City's mayor, told the crowd as Jennifer Sork, the Amazon Studios chief, sliced a green and white sash with gargantuan scissors. So exciting. Sork said, shaking Cooper's hand. Two of her Amazon Studios lieutenants, Albert Cheng and Jason Roppel, clapped nearby. Sork has been the head of Amazon Studios since February, replacing former Chief Roy Price, who resigned due to allegations of sexual misconduct made by a producer. Close bracket. Amazon is only renting Culver Studios, as the 14-acre lot is called. Hackman Capital Partners, a real estate investment company, has owned the rectangular property since 2014 and lured Amazon with a plan to spend $600 million on seven new studio buildings and other upgrades by 2021. But Amazon's decision to move its entertainment division to the compound under a 15-year lease, the company had been using nondescript offices in Santa Monica, demonstrates the degree to which the tech giants have woven themselves into the fabric of Hollywood. You can no longer separate one from the other. This is mixing old media and new media in a completely harmonious way, Michael Hackman, chief executive of Hackman Capital Partners, said by phone Wednesday. The majestic administration building, for instance, looks much as it did in the 1930s and 40s, when the Mill and David O. Selznick, who produced Gone with the Wind, had their offices inside. Only now, the movie is in the framed posters hanging inside the mansion as the building is known in film circles, are owned by Amazon, including Manchester by the Sea, The Handmaiden and The Big Sick. Right double quotation mark. I like the sense of history because it holds us to a standard, Jeff Bezos, Amazon's founder and chief executive, said when a reporter asked him about the Culver Studios move at an Oscar season cocktail party.